Are your watercolor paintings buckled and have paintbrush hairs on them, but you want to sell them as prints? Here's how I fix my paintings for free. Hello, I was painting this color cockatoo parrot on watercolor paper that just wasn't thick enough to handle multiple layers of paint. I know I should either use thicker watercolor paper or stretcher paper before painting, but this was the only type of paper I had, and I still haven't bought gummed tape for stretching wet paper. <sighs> Someday. But for now, if you have this same buckling effect on your watercolor paintings, this is what I do to make it less noticeable. First of all, you can try flattening the painting under weight. When scanning, I also put a pile of white paper between the painting and the scanner lid and a weight on top of the scanner lid to press the painting tighter against the scanner. I usually scan A4 size watercolor paintings in 300 deep, 300 deep as free as. I usually scan A4 size paintings as 600 dpi PNG files, and I edit them in GIMP, which is a free image editor you can download online. The first thing I do to get rid of the shadows on the paper is adjust the color levels. I use the preview and split view to see the before and after at the same time. And click the shadows of the white paper with the white eyedropper and the darkest part of the painting with the black eyedropper. The first one turns the shadows white and the second one adds contrast. Let's also add some sharpness. The scanning usually eats up some of the colors, so let's increase saturation. But don't overdo it. I think I kind of overdid it for the thumbnail of this video, but it was just for the thumbnail, if I even ended up using that version. I often have some dust and paintbrush hairs stuck to the painting, and I use the clone tools to stamp those away. Press Ctrl while clicking on an area you want to clone, and then let go and click on the area you want to fix. I use a brush type with a soft edge to hide that the area was altered. There's also a healing tool that you can use for this and it works the same way, but the result is a bit different. Let's scrub out the white borders of the watercolor paper. The rulers can help you see if the scan is not straight and if you should tilt it a bit with the rotate tool. And then select a painting with the rectangle select tool and crop to selection. I'll make two versions of the painting. One with the background and one without it. So I'll remove the background for the second one. I'll first duplicate the painting and roughly erase everything but the bird from the new layer. And then I'll use the fuzzy select tool to remove the leftover white paper. Just set the threshold so that it doesn't take away parts of your painting too. And when you've selected an area, click Ctrl X to remove it. Do make sure you've added the alpha layer first. The edges didn't turn out very neat, so I'll clean them up by adding a black layer underneath to see the leftover white pixels clearly. And I'll use the eraser and free select tool to clean up the edges. I'll throw in a white outline too. And this no background version is the one I'll use for t-shirts, stickers and so on. And the one with the background works on rectangular products like art prints and notebook covers. I suggest you watch this next if you want more tips with editing and selling your art. Thanks for watching.